What is this? And how does it turn into this? Well, this is a four spotted chaser dragonfly in its adult stage. And this is a four spotted chaser in its larval stage. It's just crawled out of the water and up this reed and anchored itself very firmly. It needs to be anchored firmly because of the efforts that it's got to make very soon. You can see the first twitchings of the wing case here and then the tip of the thorax is pushing through quickly followed by the head and with the use of time-lapse video we're going to be able to see a process that takes you know maybe half an hour to an hour depending on weather conditions we'll be able to see it rather quicker than that it's now reached a very vulnerable stage as birds would just love to have an early morning breakfast and here's the final huge effort to pull its abdomen out of its casing. What it leaves behind actually is its exoskeleton which we call the exuvia. If we find exuvia in these sort of sites we know that the dragonfly is successfully bred. This next stage can also take over an hour and you can see the wings expanding and the rest of the body hardening off as we use time lapse again. This adult dragonfly is now at the stage where it can manipulate itself into its most favourable position and usually that is with its wings facing towards the sun. It needs to do this because very soon those wings will open for the first time. You can see that now they are becoming a lot clearer and stronger. It's successfully manoeuvred around to the opposite side of where he, he actually emerged from. The emergence position was probably facing the sun and there he goes. That's the first time those wings are going to open. And with this particular species have not actually experienced, except in extremely bad weather, those wings will stay open. If it was really bad weather, sometimes they actually do close. And that's a perfect example of tenoral wings. They have that particular sort of shiny appearance. You can see that the dragonfly has a lot of hair all over. This is to retain heat when it needs to. Now it's getting to an even better position. And again to strengthen those wings in preparation for its first flight. Now what happens here is very unusual. Today's emergence is a male dragonfly and approaching from below is a female dragonfly which emerged the previous day. Now whether its wing is damaged due to the, the poor weather conditions or whether that's just a fault in that particular dragonfly, we don't know. But she's making an approach to our male. Uh, maybe she senses that this is her only chance to mate. Um, even if that was successful, which it probably wouldn't be, uh, as the male is so young, um, she wouldn't be able to fly and lay her eggs successfully anyway but um, maybe it's just that drive that that sends her towards the male and uh, you can see soon that she's um, twitching her, her wings towards him and he, he senses this and it, it actually causes him to have his maiden flight first contact made there. Look 
he goes, leaving the uh, poor female a little bit confused as to what's happened. And it's sad to say, but she will probably um, just spend a day or two trying to survive and then eventually die. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, in the immortal words of Alex Harvey, from the water as a lava into the air as an adult, the four-spotted chaser dragonfly.